All right, guys, good morning, everybody. It's September the 21st. We are at Oregon, event number five, the final event. I'm launching out of Boone's Ferry launch. And uh, there's 42 guys signed up in this. It's like the number three tournament in kayak fishing Northwest. It's a pretty big tournament. It's gonna pay out pretty good. Uh, not a lot of people launching at this launch, so I think there's three other yaks here, but uh, we're hoping we do okay. We need five good ones. Uh, there's both large mouths and small mouths in here. Uh, last time I fished here, I caught a few small mouth and a few large mouth. And uh, I'm looking to stay away from the crowds a little bit. I do have that NK 180, so I can move. I can move a little bit. I can, I can cover some miles if I need to. And it is a river system, so you know I, uh, I'm not too concerned to where I'm launching at. Uh, the water really looked good here last time I was here, so hopefully, uh, hopefully the bite's going to be a little bit better. Uh, Last time there was a front that moved through and there was a few rain showers and stuff and I think that might have turned it off a little bit, but we're gonna find out. It's a little chillier this morning. It is, like I said, it's September the 21st. It's uh, in the mid 50s. It's gonna get up to mid 70s. It's gonna be a beautiful day. We're gonna have a lot of boat traffic today. Salmon uh, are coming over the coming over the falls pretty strong, I guess. Uh, I just talked to a guy that went down there. He said, we're gonna be busy today. It's gonna be a busy, busy waters, busy rivers. So. Uh, Anyways, the kayak's on the water down there. Uh, I got a, about an hour here before I can launch, but uh, before I can get going. But let's go enjoy the day and see if we can catch five good ones and maybe we can cash a check and maybe, just maybe, we might get that first win of my kayak fishing career. <laughs> It's 6.10 so I can launch. I got 20 minutes. I don't know how far I want to go. How far do I want to go? Any top water bite today, I don't know. Some water coming in here. You got a lot of hydrilla. See the hydrilla here. Look on the side scan. Look on my side scan right there if we can see it very well. Uh, I gotta clean off that lens. It's fogged up. Whoa. There we go. Is he gonna be 12 inches? He might be 12. Oh, he is. He's going to be 12. That's a good thing. He's going to be barely 12. But he's going to be 12. I didn't want that. Okay. Oh, you little bastard. Thirteen and a quarter. All right, I lost my sound just for a few seconds here, but I could not let this skip go. You know, I've been working on skipping all year, and uh, I just like the way this slid right across the water up next to the dock, and uh, it sure helped me hook up this little this little large mouth. I'm I'm hoping for something a lot bigger than this, but uh, this is what I got. So this was my uh, second fish, or maybe my third. I can't remember if it was my second or third fish my second little small large mouth but uh anyways we'll get back to the mic here in just a second just a second but i just wanted to show you guys that skip because uh you know i've been working hard on it 
<clears throat> we knew it was going to be slow, so don't get a bad attitude. I spent way too much time with this uh, Senko in my hand, hoping the fish were up close. The week before, I was picking up a few uh, right off the bank like this, but uh, geez, I just I wasted so much time with this here in my hand pretty much all day. And uh, you know, if I have to do over again, I would definitely uh, I would have moved on past this. side of the river screw this everything's gonna get changed you'd think that this side would be more aggressive but it ain't I'm freaking hungry I'll tell you that Three hours in, four fish, one keeper. Not great, bite's not good. Bite's not good at all where I'm at. That could change. That could all change with a swing of a wrist. Might be a good fish. Stay down. It is a good fish. Oh, thank goodness. It's a good fish for what I've been catching. It is a good fish for what I've been catching, which is nothing. And it's a scoreable bass, which is even better.
tough. Tough day, people. Tough day for me. the net here could be some fish down there it looks like this is small he's on the bottom there oh, just one more time up here He ain't 12. We are 0 30. We got an hour and 10 minutes left. I'm headed back towards the ramp. I got two places that I know fish are at. I caught them there last week, but uh, haven't been getting bites on them today. I got about 42 inches. I got three fish, big fish. It's 17 and 3 quarters. Sorry, battery was dead. Didn't get it on video. Got it on the Ned rig just like the other two. Uh, it's a tough bite today. The leader's at 80 inches though, so he's doing okay. But, uh, a lot of 70s and uh, i think i'm in 14th place at a 42 i think i got 42 inches but uh yeah i gotta i gotta get back here and try this spot out here and uh i mean i can fish all this again but uh, it's just it's tough it's a little deeper water where i'm at and not a lot of current to break so a lot of lay downs but a lot of a lot of uh grass that i can't get through Anyways, see if I get my chest batteried up. And All right, let's go ahead and recap my tournament. Uh, I'm running out of time. I got an hour left at this point, and I had uh, I need to cover about three miles to get to where I wanted to fish, and my batteries are low on my cameras, and I just uh, didn't want to charge them. Just wanted to get get another fish in the boat at this point. I, I only had three. I needed two fish, and I had 45 and a half inches. I wasn't completely out of it. If I had two two good two 15 inches, I'm I'd be put in third place. I'd have had third place, but uh, I couldn't find two. But I did right at the last minute. I mean, two minutes left in the game. I uh, I hooked a fish and is a 15 inch smallie. I got it pictured, and got it got it submitted, and everything. So uh, I ended up with uh, 60 and a half inches for 14th place, and uh, which I was pretty happy with. You know, beans. My day was just a tough, tough day, and I think it was for a lot of people. September just uh, is a tough month to fish, and uh, you know, it was a been a, it was a it was a pretty much a full moon the night before. I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not, but uh, I think if you found the fish, uh, finding piles of them to bite right away was a little tough. They were a little finicky in the morning. I get a lot of bumps on that on that wacky rig, but I just you know they would not commit, and I went over to the Ned, and I would get some to commit, but. Uh, you know, I guess if I was to do it over again, I would have definitely fished that Ned more. Uh, 
and maybe a uh, maybe a swim bay a little bit more but uh definitely the net i would have just not not moved it not uh not put it away if i was you know as i think about it and and recap it and watch game film on what was going on i would have slowed down and uh i would have just drug that net around but uh like i said i did i did catch one more fish that was 15 inches and uh, that put me at 60 and a half inches and that was pretty much it that was my that was my tournament so uh until next time uh i guess i'll see you on the water thanks for watching guys Two more that were 15 inches, 30 inches. That would put me, that'd get me in the top 10 probably.